Hey family, it's your sister Andreana Janae and I am back with another word. Um, if you were on this morning's prayer in live, um, I shared with you guys that I had a heavy word that the Holy Spirit wanted me to release and the time is now. Um, so before I get started, I'm going to pray because this is heavy. It's, it's, it's heavy. It's heavy. Um, so Father God, we invite you into the atmosphere. All of your words and none of mine, Lord God. I decrease so that you can increase within me, Lord God. I pray that you cover over your word right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. I come, I pray that you protect it, Lord God, from any demonic attack of force, Lord God, that will try to manipulate your word, Lord God, that will try to um, um, discredit your words in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. You are a defender of your word, Lord God. So I release it to you. I just merely submit myself as a willing vessel, Lord God, to be used in whichever way you want to use me, Lord God, uh, for such a time as this, Lord God. So I humble myself before you and I surrender myself to you. I surrender my tongue to you. I surrender my heart and my spirit to you to be used exactly in the way that you intended to use me, Lord God. Father God, I repent for anything that I've done or said and knowingly or unknowingly, Lord God, that comes against you, Lord God, that that, that 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 offended you in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. And I make it right and I repent before you and of your children, Lord God. And I ask that you forgive me, Lord God. Purify my spirit, Lord God. Purify this channel, Lord God, so that you can flow through me as easily as possible, Lord God. I pray over every single last person under the sound of my voice, every last person that comes across this video who was intended to hear it, Lord God. You've made it clear that this is not for everyone. You've made it clear that everyone is not ready to receive this word in the mighty name of Jesus, but those who are, Lord God, you are you have sent it out for them, Lord God. You love them this much, Lord God, that you want to bring them clarity. You love them this much that you want to bring them understanding, Lord God. So the spiritual mature, Lord God, the open-hearted, Lord God, will receive a word from you today, Lord God. I pray that you prepare their hearts, Lord God. I pray that at this moment, Lord God, they pause this video, Lord God, and they 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 worship you and praise you, Lord God, and pray with you, Lord God, so that they can be prepared to hear what your spirit is saying in this time, God. I thank you, Jesus. Again, I decrease so that you increase within me, Lord God. All of you and none of me, Lord God. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Anoint the atmosphere, anoint this video, anoint this word, anoint the ears and eyes of those who are who are intended to hear it and receive it. And I pray that it takes root in the depths of their spirits, Lord God. I pray that it changes the way they think, Lord God. I pray that it changes the way that they move, Lord God. And I pray that it jump starts, Lord God. Something powerful and magical and miraculous that you want to do in their lives. I thank you, Jesus. I love you. I honor you. And it's in your precious name I pray. Amen. Who I feel so much better after that. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. So I'm not going to prolong this too long. Um, Holy Spirit has me in my Lil Wayne era um, where y'all remember when Lil Wayne started a thing where he was like, he was just freestyling. He didn't write nothing down. He just freestyled. And that's the Holy Spirit wants to do with me today. Um, he just wants me to move. Sometimes Holy Spirit doesn't want me too much hands on on things as far as like um, researching it because he knows how I am. Like I sometimes it's hard, you know, to allow the Holy Spirit to flow if you've done so like if you've researched so much or if you like you just gotta have the ins and outs and the answers right before you're obedient before it has to make sense to you before you're obedient um holy spirit likes to use me in a way where it's like nope you're gonna hit record and you're gonna solely lean on me you're gonna lean on me and my voice and i'm gonna guide you i'm gonna lead you i'm gonna make sure that you say what i want you to say i'm gonna make sure you don't say what i don't want you to say and yeah so i call that my little wayne error okay so holy spirit is about to flow um, this is something the Lord dropped on me yesterday. This is something the Lord dropped on me yesterday. And this completely goes against everything. I wouldn't say everything, but this goes against the foundation of what we believed this kingdom marriage assignment was, um, and, and what it looked like. Okay, this is why it's so important and myself included when the Lord spoke to me to start recording and this is going to be quick because the Holy Spirit's like, all right, let's get it to it. But when the Lord spoke to me that he wanted me to start recording videos, right? Before that, 
I, the Lord spoke to me, like the Lord was showing me that I was in my season of marriage or he was preparing me for marriage through YouTube, right? Through the, the, the prophetic channels, um, that were speaking about kingdom marriage. Um, but in that, because I was so immature in my faith, because I was so immature in my prophetic gifting, um, you know, like we most do, we, we hear things and we, we, and it's, it's because we hear so, so much of it or because it's like everywhere and it's so often we fail to go back to the Lord and say, what are you saying about this? So we ask the Lord for revelation and he's given it to us, but we're tacking it on what was already planted within us. Instead of saying, Lord, strip me from everything that I've heard, everything that I di digested and show me what this looks like through your lens in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, and that's what the Holy Spirit did to me gradually. Um, I have to say it, it led up to this point. He didn't just drop this on me and it was just, you know what I mean? He built me up into this point. And that's what the Holy Spirit does when he went with, with revelation. The Holy Spirit doesn't just outright give it to you, right? He has to build it up. So, right. It's like, okay, here's the kingdom marriage thing. Okay. All right. And then we, we believe a certain thing. God will give us a word and then we'll build on it. Right. And then we go forth and God is like, okay, well, let me undo that because that was, let me show you what it actually was. I hope I'm making sense for those who's receiving it will receive it. But if you know, if you've, you've, you've gone through the process of like, okay, the revelation God gave you a year ago, uh, he matured that revelation and it's actually a little different than what you thought it was, or it's a little different when you thought it meant, right? Um, and that's what the Holy Spirit is doing in this time when it comes to this kingdom marriage, um, um, assignment. Um, so yes, Holy Spirit is saying that you are the prodigal. You are the prodigal. We, as women, we're the prodigal. Oh, shit. We're the prodigal. We're the prodigal. It is not these men. It is us. We're the prodigal. Holy Spirit kept speaking to me that 2023 is the year of identity. 2023 is the year of identity. 2023 is the year of identity. 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 You have to be developed into your identity. You have to become one with your identity. What Who the Lord said that you are. 2023 is the year of identity. And he gave me Genesis 2, 23. For now you are bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Identity. You are, Adam told Eve, you are bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Eve did not tell Adam, you are bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. 2023 is the year of identity. If you were on, if you watched the ep the first episode of my podcast, when the Lord was speaking about the homosexual spirit, he mentioned in that, and that it is so good because I love how the Holy Spirit drops his nuggets before he gives the big, the big meal, the big shebang, right? So he mentioned in that through me, how, what if he never presented Eve to Adam, Right? Say, for instance, God said, Adam, your assignment is solely between you and me. Your assignment is solely between me and you. Therefore, I am going to give your Eve also a solo assignment. Come on. And God is God. God can do whatever he wants to do. Right? God can do whatever he... Thank you, Jesus. God can do whatever he wants to do. Because now if, 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 if somebody else is Eve... If another Adam and his Eve didn't rise up to the calling to in, into and then come into her identity, now he has he has a Hagar. Thank you, Jesus. He has a Hagar that he can send to this one. He has a Hagar. The pressure that the Holy Spirit has been saying, you meeting the mark, you you now or never, or you running out of time. He is speaking to the women of God. Oh, shit. He's speaking to the women of God. He's speaking to the women of God. What the Holy Spirit has been speaking about you're running out of time. He's speaking to the women of God. That is not an order to the men. That is not a word that he is speaking to the men. He is speaking to the women of God. 
Many of us are about to forfeit our promise. And he sent me to forewarn you because we need to wake up. There has been a narrative that has been going and the Lord is sick of it. He is sick of the women and their arrogance. He is sick of the women and her, their egos. He's sick of it. He's sick of it. He's sick of it. He's sick of women and their pride. He's sick. He's tired. He's tired. He's tired. God is about to start taking away promises from these women. He is. He is. He is, he is, he is. You're the prodigal, you're the prodigal, you're the prodigal. This is not for those who are literally in their men. Well, this is for everybody, for, for clarity and understanding. But as far as missing the mark, for those who, and this is, this is the push that those who, who, who are in, um, who, who haven't been awakened to this, this is to push it. Okay, this, this, this is on you. The only way that Adam can claim you and receive you is if he can identify you. And in identifying you, he is identifying himself. He is recognizing his self in you. For you are bone of my bone and you are flesh of my flesh. If you are not being, if you are not walking fully in your identity of bone of his bone, flesh of his flesh, he cannot receive you. You are a counterfeit version of yourself. He does not want a counterfeit. The way that you are operating is counterfeit to what the Lord promised him. And he doesn't want that. He wants what the Lord promised him. And what the Lord promised him was you in your authenticity. What the Lord promised him was you walking in your identity. He doesn't want a counterfeit version of you. It doesn't matter what the Lord, he does not want a counterfeit version of you. Right? It's so crazy. It's so crazy because the, 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 the true will of God is always opposite of what the narrative is in the world. What the narrative is in, the, in society. The true will of God is always our opposite of that. Because, right, the, Lord, the, the oh, excuse me, the enemy tries to take the will of God and he flips it. So he has us believing one way, right? And what is the narrative in society? The narrative in society is that women are the prize. The narrative is society, right? Yeah. Or that women are the prize. Right? Yes, he who finds a good thing. Yeah. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. Yeah. A wife. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you're not, you're not, you're not home. You're not the body. You are the rib. You're not the body. We are not the body. We are not the body. We're not. We, we have been behaving as prodigals. We have been behaving as prod prodigals. It starts generations ago. How does society raise women? They raise them to be wives. They raise them to be uh, what a man wants and what a man needs. We don't raise our daughters to walk in their identity. We haven't been raising our daughters to walk into their true identity and their authenticity. We've been raising daughters to conform what we think men want and need. Not realizing that every man is different and what every man needs is his bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. Therefore, Andriana has to walk authentically in her identity. Susan and Karen have to walk authentic in their identity. Right? Come on. Come on, speak Holy Spirit. I'm letting Holy Spirit flow because Holy Spirit has to bring it and tie it in how he wants to do it. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. When the Bible speaks about deception, when the Bible speaks, we were just reading this this morning in Proverbs 5. When the Bible speaks about deception, they, the Bible calls it a her, a woman, the prostitute, 
wicked, her. Come on. The nature of women is wicked. Because of our sexual and sensual nature. It's deceptive. It's deceptive. It's deceptive. It's deceptive. And we use it and we use it and, 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 and use it as manipulation. Right? This, this, this hasn't started. This has been the beginning of time. Manipulation. Come on. Come on. Men learn that from women. Men learn it from women. Somewhere down the line, it was taught through a woman. Manipulation was taught through women. Either your father learned it from, 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 from his mother, right? Grandmama. Manipulation. And not always in a vindictive way. Not always in a, you know, uh, um, just intentional type of way. Manipulation, though, if you think about back in the day, how, 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 how grandma had to survive through manipulation, manipulation, who this is for, because the Holy Spirit, he, he, he's not going to give the whole story. That's one thing the Holy Spirit does not do. Holy Spirit is not going to give you the full story through his prophets. Because if he did, you would not seek him. Holy Spirit wants his own relationship with you. So if you're receiving a full story from somebody, then that is, that's witchcraft. Witchcraft. That's what psychics do. That's what psychics do. Because they've, they've made themselves a God. They've made themselves a God. So they, because they have such a powerful gift and they don't want to yield because they want to profit over it, they want attention from it, it's witchcraft. Prophecy could be turned into witchcraft. Prophecy can be turned into witchcraft. And this is a whole different, I didn't even expect to go here. Prophecy can be, be turned into witchcraft. That's why it's so obedient. That's why it's so important to be obedient when the Lord says release, when the Lord says to speak, and hold back when the Lord says hold back. Because now you've made yourself a god, and now other you've 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 allowed others to stumble because now they've made you a god. So instead of coming to their god and your god, they go to you. For a word from the Lord. For a full revelation from the Lord. It's sorcery. It's witchcraft. Back to the, the, the topic at hand. Whoever that is for. Whoever that is for. Whoever that is for. You are the prodigal. We as women are the prodigal. The man is the body. He's the home. We've been separated from him. We've been separated from him. We've been separated from him. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Talk about manipulation. Jezebel. Jezebel corrupted. Uh, what is his name? Abel? No, not Abel. Uh, uh, what's Jezebel's husband's name? I can't remember. Jezebel corrupted her husband. Manipulation. That's the nature of women. It's just, just, just the nature. We're flesh. That's the nature of women. Manipulation. Wickedness. Come on. We, without walking in our true identity, are the stumbling blocks for men. Adam and Eve. We are the stumbling blocks. Come on. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have to be walking in our identity. Have your way, Holy Spirit. We have to be walking in our identity. If your husband is rejecting you, it's because you're not operating in your identity. 
I'm not talking about a godly separation, but I'm saying if you are trying to be in contact with him and he's rejecting you, it's because you are not in your identity. You are not operating authentically in your identity. And he doesn't want to counterfeit. Because he needs who you are authentically are. He doesn't want a counterfeit version of you. He doesn't want a version of you that, 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 that wants to be what he what you think he needs. And everything that you are, everything that God created you to be is exactly what he needs. Even the things about you that you think are, are, are embarrassing to him. Even the things about you that you, 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 you are insecure about. All of those things are the things that he needs from you. All of those things satisfy his appetite when it comes to you. Every last one of them. And if you're not operating in your true identity, he won't receive you. He won't receive you. He won't receive you. He won't receive you. It's God's sons at his right hand. It's, a, it's his sons. It's his sons. The calling over these men's life. The calling. The calling over these men's life. God, we keep speaking about God is going to do a, 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 um, a instant transformation. Yeah, because he's just been waiting for you. God could have been transformed your spouse, but he's waiting for you. Who your spouse is right now. Mm, this is so good. Who your spouse is right now and the way that your spouse is operating right now was to help you get into who you need to be. Because if your spouse wasn't rejecting you, you wouldn't be seeking after God. If you wasn't bumping heads with your spouse, you wouldn't be seeking after God to, to, to and, and which would have led to his transformation in you. God could have been delivered these men. God could have been transformed these men, but he hasn't because he wants to use them and in the way that they're operating to bring you into your identity. So then when you come into your identity, it's just going to be an instant turnaround for these men. Instant, instant. Because they've just been waiting on you. They've just been waiting on you. Instant turnaround for these men. Bring it back, Holy Spirit. God couldn't give the, God couldn't bring them into you. God couldn't bring them to you, to us, whole in, 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 in these just uber walking in their full identity and godly men. Because then we would have settled being who we were. We would have settled being who we were. If God brought them to us all glittered and gold and glossy, we would have settled with, with who we were. God says, oh, no, 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 no. I need you. I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you stay there. And the longer that you you delay, the longer that you delay getting into your identity, the, the, the longer you're causing or you have caused them to go through things that they did not have to go through. Because you fail to come into your authenticity. authenticity. For who is listening to this? God has been telling you for years that you needed to heal from those insecurities. God has been speaking to you for years that you need to know who you are. Years. God has been speaking to you. He's been speaking to his daughters. He's been speaking to his daughters. Get up. Know who you are. Know who you are. Know who you are. Stop operating in these insecurities and know who you are and know who your father is. He's been speaking. He's been speaking to us. He's been speaking. And the time is running out. The time is running out. Many women of God are going to forfeit their assignments. Many women of God are going to forfeit their assignments. God will take your assignment from you because he threatened me. He threatened me. He threatened me. God will take your assignment from you, woman of God. He will take this husband from you. Just last year, I witnessed it. God had me on live speaking to a woman. I don't know who she was. That you forfeited. 
You forfeit it. You forfeit it. Because you are arrogant. You are boastful. You are prideful. So you, 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 you forfeit it. Last year. Just last year. And it still didn't click. I still didn't get it. She forfeited. God, don't come into who you are if you want to. Because God is about to turn you. And he's going to allow Hagar to step in. I keep seeing the number 28. And it means Hagar. And I'm like, Lord, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? God is about to allow Hagar to conceive Ishmael. Because generations got to come. Generations have to come. And God will allow and anoint Hagar. Come on, Vashi, Esther. Oh, S or Vashti. Oh, you're okay. All right. I'm going to replace. No, he's not rescinding replacement husbands. No, 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 no. He's rescinding replacement wives. Yeah, God is not sending replacement husbands. He's sending replacement wives. Come on. Yeah. If your husband has not received you, is rejecting you, it's because you're not walking in your identity. You're not walking in your identity. You're failing to walk in your identity. And whatever that looks like between you and God, whatever that looks like between you, I don't know what that looks like between you and God. I don't. I don't. But that's why you sit with the Lord and you ask him, how am I operating falsely? What do you expect from me to, 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 so this man can, to, can receive me, can identify me? Because he has to identify me. He has to identify me. When you are in sitting in the manifestation, you know you've, you've walked into your identity. You know you walked into who you, God created you to be. Come on, God is sending Hagar's. He is sending Esther's to replace Vashti's. He's sending Hagar's. He will. He will. He will. For so long, we're like, oh, and, and this applies to our bros uh, about these prophetic words. No, 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 no. These words were for the men. These words were for the men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These words were for the men. Yeah. These words were for the men and their prodigal wife. These words were for the men. This whole time, we thought they were about us and this prodigal man and this prodigal husband. No, 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 no. These words were for the men. Speaking about the prodigal wife. Yep. Mm, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. And this ain't for all. Some of y'all, y'all husbands then went off and got married. Some of them then went off and, 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 and had babies. Because you forfeited it. The time ran out. The time ran out. The time ran out. The time ran out because you were so busy. We were so busy focusing on them, focusing on what they weren't doing, focusing on what they did to us and how they hurt our feelings and what they said to us. And we were failing to get it. We were failing to get it. Not anymore. God has sent me. God has sent me to share with his daughters because we got to wake up. We got to wake up. We've been in this illusion and delusion. <laughs> We've been delusional. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, year of 2023 is the year of identity. Do not miss it. Do not miss it. God is calling his daughters. This is the final call. Final call before uh, Esther is sent. Final call before Hagar is sent. Final call. And they're going to do that instant transformation. They're going to do that instant transformation. They're going to do that instant transformation because they've just been waiting on you. God allowed them in that way to help heal you. Them coming whole and healed was not going to benefit you because he knows how arrogant his daughters are. He knows how prideful his daughters are. We would have stayed uh, stagnant. 
We would have been like, uh-uh. It was in our rejection from these men that led us to our healing. Majority of you wouldn't have been seeking after God if it wasn't for the rejection of who this is for. Who this is for. And not even prodigal situations. If, a, if God has promised you the, 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 the assignment of marriage and you don't know who your spouse is, they, they are waiting for you to walk into your identity. They are waiting for it. They can identify you. You probably passed your husband so many times, but they can't recognize you because you're not walking in the authentic, authenticity of your identity. You probably see your spouse every single day, but he does not recognize you because you're not walking in your authenticity. You're not walking in your identity. Y'all take this back to the Lord. I am the vessel. You take it back to the Lord. I don't care how somebody look, what, what you think you got going on, how you think you're walking in your purpose, how you think you're walking in your identity. Take it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord with an open heart. That's the only way transformation and clarity and revelation is going to come with an open heart. Don't go to him with your mind already made up. Don't go to him with your heart already closed and guarded with an open heart. Lord, you, you sent Andriana to speak this word. Did you send her? Test the spirit. Lord, did you send Adriana to send this word for me? If so, my heart is open. What are you trying to tell me? We got to wake up, man. Us women, we got to wake up. 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 Because you, we about to watch this wave move. God is moving. God is moving. Come on. Come on. You thought you were anointed. You thought you were power. Wait till you see God's one, uh, 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 um, 180 transformation on his sons. Wait till you see God do that instant transformation on the men. Wait. Wait. Oh, my God. And it's going to be so quick. It's going to be so quick. It's going to be so quick. It's because... It's going to be so quick. It's going to be so quick because God was just waiting for you. God was just waiting for you. God was just waiting for you. Just as quick as he made Adam. Oh, come on. Just as quick as he made Adam. Come on. With Eve, it was a process. Ah, thank you. With Eve, it was a process. Come on. There was more details to it. With Adam, straight out of dust. With Eve, it was it was more detail. Okay, let's take the rib out and let, let's form the rib. He made Adam like that. He made Adam like that. So these men are going to turn around and you're going to be like, wait a minute. Because that was already who they were. God allowed them to operate in a counterfeit version of themselves to bring you into your identity. And the longer they had to stay that counterfeit version of themselves, the longer they got hurt. The more they got, they, they got oppressed by other counterfeit women. The more they... They got themselves in situations. They got themselves into marriage. They had children. They Because you weren't waking up. Come on. You weren't waking up. You weren't waking up. They couldn't identify you. They couldn't recognize you. They couldn't recognize you. And then you will get into your identity and then they'll draw closer. And then you will, and because they drew closer, you, you stopped being who you were. You started trying to conform to who you thought they wanted. So then they had to pull away again. Cause wait a minute. She's, she, she changed. She's not operating her identity. I don't like this. I don't like this version of her. Mm -mm. This is not what God promised me. I don't want no woman sniffing up my behind all day. I want someone who is walking in her identity. And, 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 that, and it went back and forth. You were walking in your identity. You were in your purpose. Then they gave you a little bit more attention. And then you fell off with that. And you, you dropped everything and ran after them. And they said, oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. She ain't, she ain't ready. She ain't ready. She ain't ready. She ain't ready. My God. My God. Have your way, Holy Spirit. The, us women are the prodigals. We're the prodigals. We're the prodigals. We're the prodigals. And the time is running out. 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 
Time is running out. Time is running out. It's time to uh, empty your heart out to the Lord. Lord, what are you going to fast? Fast. Lord has me fasting. Do you hear me? Deliverance, breakthrough, instantly. You better go fast. You better go fast and pray if that's the, what the Lord wants you to do. You, you better do whatever the Lord wants you to do because you do not want to miss. You do not want God to send an Esther. You do not want God to send Hagar. You do not. 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 You were created for him. And if you're not, if you are not assuming the role of what you were created for, what good are you? And that doesn't mean just your husband is your purpose, but he is your primary purpose. He's your primary purpose. And you have other assignments and purposes under that umbrella. Come on, because what the Lord wanted to do, the purpose and the assignment the Lord wanted to do was for you guys to be together. That's why he ordained the marriage for you. He could have separated y'all and y'all had individual and solo assignments. But he says, what I want to do with y'all requires y'all to be together. And if you're not getting yourself together so you can assume the position that you are created for, what good are you? What good are you? What good are you? Then I, I'm going to start removing folks. What good are you? I'm going to start removing folks. I'm going to start removing folks. I'm going to start removing. Come on. And I'm going to send Hagar. Come on. Oh, 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 Bashti, you don't, you don't. Okay. I'm going to get you up out of here and I'm going to send Esther. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we like to talk about Esther and da, da 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 No, no, no. And identify ourselves as Esther? No, a lot of us are about to be Vashtis. Mm -mm. I don't even receive that because uh, Lord had, the Lord got me together. He already got me together. He already did me. He did me in. He did me in. He did me in. Don't be Vashti. But a lot of us were Vashti when we were speaking of when we want to we want to include and use that as our uh, scripture reference for these prophetic words. And we want to identify ourselves as Esther's. Yeah, we were real much. We were very much Vashti's. We were very much Vashti's. We were very much Vashti's. Yeah. Yep. 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 We were Vashti's. We were Vashti's. All the way. Uh, this word is um already long. Lord, anything else? Yeah, I feel empty. I feel like the Lord has gotten everything off of his chest. Um, if he does want me to do a part two, we will. Um, but this has just changed the trajectory of 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 the revelation that the Lord has given this channel and how he is moving this channel. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And to his sons out there, to his sons out there, if he does not sin, if 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 your Eve does not assume her position, he will send you a, a, a Esther. Come on, that was so for that was so for his sons, and we missed it. That was so for his sons and we missed it. It was for his sons and we missed it. Brothers, you're not going to be lacking. 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 And he's going to give you double for your trouble to the men of God. To the men of God, he's going to give you double for your trouble. He's going to send you an Esther. If Vashti doesn't assume her position, assume her role, he's going to send you an Esther. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Y'all, I pray over this word. I pray that it reaches every single last one of his sons and daughters who intended to hear it, who was intended to hear it, y'all. Um, yeah, in the mighty name of Jesus. If you feel led to sow, you can do so with the cash app. Um, everything. Well, other methods are in the description box as well. Um, but Holy Spirit had his way. Holy Spirit had his way. Holy Spirit had his way. Anything. If you, you, you if you, uh, if you're upset about this word, if you disagree, you take that to the Lord. 
please do not leave no comments under this video. I don't, like, I'm not responding. I, I, the Lord said what he said. And I have so much confidence in what the Lord spoke to me. I have so much confidence. I know what I heard. I know what the Lord revealed. So if you have a trouble receiving it, you do your due diligence and take it back to the Lord with an open heart, with an open heart. You don't do yourself any justice going to him, which your mom already made up about what he spoke because he spoke it. He spoke it. It's up to you to receive it or not because he spoke his word and his word is his word. That's it. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I pray this blessed you and edified you. And I will see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bye.